ഹലോ ഓൾ മൈസെൽ രാഹുൽ അയ്യർ അസിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് പ്രൊഫസർ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് ആൻഡ് കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് വേദവ്യാസ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് ടെക്നോളജി ടുഡേ ഐ വെൽക്കം യു ഓൾ ടു ദി ടെക്ടാക്സ് സെഷൻ ഓൺ ഓർഗാനിക് ലൈറ്റ് എമിറ്റിംഗ് ഡയോഡ്സ് ദറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓയിൽ ലേഡീസ് ടുഡേ വി ആർ വെരി മച്ച് ഫെമിലിയർ വിത്ത് ലൈറ്റ് എമിറ്റിംഗ് ഡയോഡ്സ് ബിക്കോസ് ഓൾ ദി ഡിസ്പ്ലേ ഡിവൈസസ് ആർ നൗ യൂസിംഗ് ദി എൽ ഇ ഡീസ് so let us go and discuss what is organic light emitting diodes in this presentation we will discuss about the organic light emitting diodes how they work what they are made of and different strategies to manufacture them with layers thickness and the many applications for this aim. this presentation will give you an outline on what oil leds are and the explanation of how oil leds operate the materials used the advantages and disadvantages and the real world examples of use of this oil leds so actually an organic light emitting diode is a type of light emitting diode where the emissive electroluminescent layer is a film of organic compound which emits light in response to an electric current we are all familiar with the ordinary light emitting diodes but in oil leds we have an organic layers now let us analyze the structure of oil leds you can see the substrate level at the bottom of the structure which gives the support of the structure and sometimes it will be very flexible and the, there you can see anode cathode and organic materials which are sandwiched in between the anode and cathode the green colored layer and the gray colored or brown colored layer okay these are the emissive and conductive layers now let us see how organic leds operate the organic led structure is similar to inorganic leds there will be an emitting layer between an anode and a cathode holes and electrons are injected from the anode and cathode and when the charge carriers annihilate in the middle organic layer a photon is emitted however there is sometimes difficulty in injecting carriers into the organic layer from the usually inorganic contacts to solve this problem often the structure includes an electron transport layer etl and a hole transport layer hdl which facilitate the injection of charge carriers all of these two layers must be ground on top of each other with the first ground on a substrate now let us see how the oil leds are manufactured there are two general types of oil leds actually those which are made of very small molecules are usually referred to as oil leds organic leds but those which are made using polymers are referred to as p leds there is also a new type of oil led under development which is known as phosphorescent organic light emitting diode ph oil led which has efficiencies approaching 100 percentage and vacuum thermal evaporation vte is used the technology for the oil leds that is the leds made up of small molecules and organic vapor phase deposition is another manufacturing technique used for p leds and inject printing inject printing 
is also used for the PLEDs. The oil LEDs which are based on small molecules are typically used with the smaller structures and can be used to make well controlled homogeneous films and the construction of very complex multi-layer structures. Those LEDs which are made using polymers are used for large area films. They are efficient and require a small amount of power. Now let us see what are the materials used for these manufacturing techniques. Small molecule production can be made of organometallic chelates, fluorescent and phosphorescent dyes and conjugated dendribles. Many materials are used for their charge transport properties. Triphenylamine and derivatives are often used as materials for hole transport layer. Fluorescent dyes can be chosen to obtain light emission at different wavelengths and compounds such as perylene, rubrene and quinacridone derivatives are often used. Typical polymers used in PLED displays include derivatives of poly and polyfluorine. So these are the main chemical materials used for the manufacturing. Now let us see what are the advantages of oil LEDs. As we know from the manufacturing process, the thickness of the oil LEDs are very very light. So they are very lighter in structure and also flexible. They are very thinner and the brightness is very much improved and the power consumption and efficiency are also very well improved. And it is very easier to produce in large sizes also. It provides 170 degree viewing area and theoretically cheaper to make in the future. And it has very faster response time. These are the main advantages of oil LEDs. Now let us check up the disadvantages of oil LEDs. Because of the chemical materials used for the manufacturing, some chemicals or materials are vulnerable to fluids which may destroy the device. And the lifetime of blue organic film is also reduced. And since the manufacturing process is somewhat complex, the cost of manufacturing is also increased. And for the white backgrounds, the power consumption is also increased. These are all the disadvantages of oil LEDs. Now let us see what are the applications or commercial use of organic LEDs. All the display devices can be replaced with the oil LEDs such as the portable digital media players, mobile phone screens, car radios, digital cameras, high definition TVs. In every display systems we can use the organic LEDs for better performance. Now I will summarize the topic. Organic LEDs use the reaction of electrons and holes to produce light. But unlike normal LEDs, these use organic material layers in the process. Organic LEDs have many manufacturing challenges before they can become viable for consumer products. The advantages will be smaller, brighter displays for modern devices which are very efficient. As a conclusion, you should remember these five key concepts about oil LEDs. First one, four main components are the anode, cathode, emission and conductive layers. Second one, unlike normal LEDs, oil LEDs use organic material layers in the process. Third one, photons are released when an electron and a hole are paired, giving off light. Fourth one, 
The thickness of layers of an oil LED are in the angstrom range. Fifth one, there are two general types of oil LEDs, those based on small molecules which are known as oil LEDs and those made using polymers, PLEDs. Okay, now I thank you all for listening. Thank you.